essential when drone fishing is a good rod and reel. Here I've got the Penn Spinfisher VI 10500 spilled with 900 meters of 60 pound Tasleen Spectra braid on the Tika Traveller 24 kilo spin rod. It's a beautiful looking setup. If you're not into the manual winding or you're casting long distances, I'd recommend going for something like this. The Daiwa Tanacon 1000. It's built with 1000 meters of 60 pound Spectra with a lithium power pack on the Tika Traveller 24 kilo boat rod. Two beautiful looking drone setups. I've been using this reel for a few months now and I have to say it's pretty damn good. The drag's so smooth, the winding smooth and the casting is effortless. It's almost the ultimate drone fishing reel. Highly recommend it. And it is a beast, an ultimate setup. This is the hook section. So you can get two six hook sections, and this end here you clip on, clip on either end of your to your swivel, and then the other end to your drone clip and your sinker. Made with 150 pound mono and aluminium crimps. You get two six hook sections on one spool. These come in a drone fishing package, or you can buy them from pool fishing systems as well. Perfect drone fishing setup. Ready to go. This is the end of my hook section and I'm going to clip onto my drone, my drone clip. When you're doing it, it's a small loop that goes in the clip. Just loop it to the drone. Just like that. And that's onto the uh, hook section. And I'll demonstrate what it is like to clip the clip onto your swivel. Here I've taken the drone clip off and I've replaced it with the swivel. I've just clipped the swivel on and that really runs back to my main line. Just as easy as that. And you clip your hooks between the aluminium crimps, the stoppers. And you're fishing. Another good item when drone fishing is the target snapper hooks. These hooks work very well. They have a wire appendage at the back of them that stops small fish from gut hooking themselves and you increase your catch rate of large snapper. Here I've got the six burrow and you can also get them in five burrow and four burrow sizes. You can get them pre-tied or you can get them half tied and you tie your own online hooks on them. These hooks are exclusively available from Paul's Fishing Systems. Now coming to the drones when drone fishing. On the left here I have the Condor 500 and on the right the Condor 1000. The difference in these drones is the 500 goes out to 500 meters maximum distance and the 1000 meter goes out to 1000 meters. So here's the Newton 3 release system. So all it is is two ball bearings. When you plug in your drone clip in here that I have, just slots in between the gap and click it in. You get your line attached to the other end, put it in here. There you will. And that sits in there quite nicely, it's not coming out too easily. And when you're flying out and you want to drop your baits at wherever you want, you just apply tension. And that pulls it out of the release clip. Like that. It's easy as that. Really safe release system. Really easy as well. It's not too technical. Same on the 500 meter version, same release. Really good drone. Here's the battery. The remote on the 500 is a little bit different to the one on the 1000 meter. A little bit better on the 1000 meter. On the older model to turn it remote on, a little button on the back, press once and then hold, and on a thousand meter, just gotta flip that little switch there. All right, yeah, it does it on as easy as that. From my experience, the Condor 1000 is slightly more powerful as it needs to reach greater distances compared to the older version, the 500. All right, we're clipping in, just into the Newton 3 release, two ball bearings, and that's. All good to go.